Hi guys, by the time you watch this, it is 2021, which is fantastic news because number one, 2020 is behind us. And number two, you can get a really good deal on a GH5. They've got all these fancy cameras coming out, but I tell you what, the GH5, it still reigns supreme. This is still a camera that can fit most of your needs as long as you don't need autofocus. And the autofocus is okay these days, but still, don't use it. As long as you don't need autofocus, this camera is pretty much the best thing you can buy up until you get like an A7S 3 The more I use this camera, the more I love it. I've had it for a couple of years and I just love it more as time goes by. I'm rambling. I've had too much to drink. It's New Year's Eve. What am I supposed to not drink? I gotta, gotta get some Sam Adams in me. Oh, that is a good beer right there. So if you like the GH5, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm going to do just a simple stability test. You're like, oh, Mark, stability tests. They've been done on the GH5 before. But yeah, but they've all had all kinds of updates and, and, and upgrades. And now in 2021, another thing I love about the GH5 is that they keep updating this thing. So if you don't know, the camera can have no stabilization. It can have body stabilization. If you have a stabilized lens, you can include that so that you can have a dual stabilization. But there's also an e-stabilization mode, which I didn't really even know. About. I knew about it. I just never tried it out. I was pleasantly surprised. We'll get to that in a bit. There's e-stabilization and there's also IS lock, image stabilization lock, which makes the camera more like a tripod. So if you're if you're holding it handheld and you're shaking a little bit, it'll kind of even it out for you and make it look like a tripod. And I thought that was the only use for that until I did some tests. Oh boy, you guys, I'll just show you the tests, okay? So it was just the first test of just walking back and forth and I wasn't being extremely careful with the way I walked. I was trying to do it smoothly, but I was just walking while holding the camera and the dual IS did a very good job, but the dual IS plus the e-stabilization, boy, that looked really good. And I know people would say, well, you can just turn off the e-stabilization and do your stabilizing in post. It's way better, but it isn't because then I have to do the e-stabilizing in post and if it does a good job right out of the box why would I get my software to spend many minutes doing that thing when it was just in camera I, I found it very convenient I, I enjoy it let's watch another example of me vlogging you'll see my super beautiful face it'll be a treat for all of us here we go Now again, I like the body and the lens stabilization. I thought that was very good. The e-stabilization was excellent, but here was a surprise to me. The tripod lock, which you're not supposed to use like this, came out very well. I'm gonna do some more tests about this tripod lock thing and see if it's some kind of hack. See, because the e-stabilization, it crops in a little bit, but the, uh, the tripod, the, the IS lock, it doesn't seem to crop in at all and it just, locks the sensor in a way that uh, makes my footage look really smooth. Now, I haven't tested it in every scenario, but I encourage you guys to try to test it out because so far, this is this is pretty good. Now, I have read on the forums that people don't like the e-stabilization because of some kind of jelly effect. If somebody's moving their head too much or they're waving at you, it creates this super ridiculous jello effect. But I think in some updates, they must have fixed that because I tried to recreate the things that people were doing and I had no success, which is fantastic. It's a success that I had no success.
So here's the last bit of footage I have, which is the Panasonic GH5 versus the Panasonic G7 on a gimbal. So if the GH5 with body and lens stabilization and uh, e-stabilization versus a gimbal. Now a uh, gimbal is going to be awfully smooth. So if this competes at all, very good. Now, by the way, the lens I'm using that has the dual stabilization is the 14 to 42 lens that came with my G7. It's not even one of these fancy 35 to 100 or 12 to 35 with the, with the new stabilization. So you can even get better lens stabilization to go with your body stabilization these days. All I gotta say is that even in 2021, I am blown away by the Panasonic GH5s stabilization and now that i see that this tripod lock seems to work so well it's kind of like e-stabilization without the crop factor i'm going to do some more tests stay tuned to the channel we're going to learn together all right guys thanks for watching time to go back to celebrate new year which is by myself drinking beer Bye bye <laughs>